Well, what's happened recently is two things. One thing is, hearing aids are now sexy. They're really cool. So one thing you can see on this hearing aid is, there's nothing to see, really. It's totally transparent in terms of, there are very, very <laughs> limited amounts of controls that you, the user, can actually manipulate. And the other beauty of these types of modern hearing aids is, look at that tube compared to the zonking ear mold tube that I showed you earlier. See the difference? This is what's called a microbore tube, and this is what's known as an on-the-ear hearing aid. So it fits on the ear, like that. This device just goes into the ear canal. There's a little retention piece that fits on the ear, and it sits snugly, not doesn't interfere with my glasses, it's really nice. And the only other control on here is a simple sweep pad, okay, and that enables me to just make minor adjustments to the volume or the memory as needed. And these tips here, there are a variety of sizes that you can use, they just pull on and off so that the aid is nice and comfortable in your ear. Now, this particular hearing aid is still, if you like, doing what the body aid did. It's got a microphone, it's got a processor, it's got a battery, it's got a loudspeaker, and then it's got a plastic, very narrow plastic tube feeding the sound into the ear. And this just sits in my canal, uh, sorry, in my concha bowl and helps retention. If I don't need it, I can just snip it off with a pair of scissors. Very, very recently, we've come now to this product, and this is where we've actually used the receiver of the body aid and we've miniaturized it down into that tiny little capsule there. That's now the loudspeaker, and we've taken that loudspeaker out of the hearing aid case and placed it at the entrance to the ear canal. So that's called an in the canal or RIC, RIC, receiver in canal hearing aid. Again, the tips are available in a variety of sizes and it just fits like the other one snugly on the ear. The beauty of having the receiver down here is it gives us a much better sound quality and a much stabler performing hearing aid. And that's one of the most popular styles of hearing aid that is provided in the private sector for hearing aid provision in the UK today. We now move on to the final family of hearing aids. And these are all handmade individually to the person's ear. So this particular product is handmade for my left ear and it sits like that. And that's called a full shell hearing aid. It fills my ear and I can adjust it with my finger if I wish or if I wanted to today I can use a remote control and then obviously I don't have to fiddle at all with my ear. This is a very popular product because it's easy to handle. The battery is the 13 battery that I showed you earlier that fits in here, closes. And anybody who's got a slight manipulation problem, maybe because of arthritis, generally can manage this type of a product very well. There are then smaller versions of the in the ear. This one is what's known as a half shell and this one is known as a canal aid. So let me just take this as an example and this is made for my right ear so I'm just going to pop it in my right ear, bingo, and it's now sitting in my ear, and as you can see, it's 
much smaller and more discreet than the full shell that I showed you earlier. We come on to the very discreet CIC completely in the canal and IIC invisible in canal hearing aids. But bear in mind what I said at the start they still have in them what the body aid had in them a receiver, a loudspeaker, an amplifier signal processor a microphone and a battery but boy we've come a long way haven't we from the invisible aid and that is one of the most sophisticated signal processing devices on the planet today it's truly remarkable the computing power that that thing has is just amazing and it all works on this tiny little battery this little tiny battery that enables it to do its job that's a 16 channel digital hearing aid and it has in it signal processing called IQ that enables it to determine what is speech and what is noise and reduce the noise quite amazing so to conclude this video I just want to mention again that we've come from this type of a product to this type of a product in a relatively short time we started in analog world and we obviously had a lot of hardware to accommodate today we're down at this level or as popular <clears throat> we have devices like these which are very very convenient and easy to wear minimum amount of control on them very automatic and wait till you see another video I'm going to make after Christmas I'm going to have a little break for my movies now and, and have a rest but after Christmas I've got some cool videos for you on wireless hearing aids and these are absolutely amazing things and they're going to be able to allow you to go up go home walk in the lounge and it will immediately pick up the TV for you automatically with wireless you don't have to do anything pop in the kitchen if the radio's on and the wife's in there bingo you'll be onto the radio so have good luck with your hearing and make sure if you've got a hearing problem get into the center of descent and get your hearing checked